Hey guys, just doing a quick video here on uh, Jim Drew's uh, Supercard Pro program we have here. And it's a little device that plugs in to the uh, USB port and a regular IBM floppy drive. Sorry for my messy desk, I'm a busy man. So you can see here, this is a regular IBM uh, floppy drive. It's not an Amiga drive. And uh, we're going to take a copy of a program I have. I still have the original home. It's not a pirate. I do have another copy, original. But uh, I just want to show you how this program works. So you put the floppy disk in a regular IBM drive and you come to his program here and uh, you take your mouse and Supercard Pro is where the disk drive is connected. I'm going to make this directly into an ADF image. You can make it into a flux image if you want, or do a direct copy to another drive attached. But right now, I'm going to make an ADF out of it. So I'm going to click on here, make a file. I'm going to give it a name, called it Pack uh, Facebook for all my fellow Facebook guys here. And we'll click on Save. And it's going to say, make sure the disk is inserted. So I'm going to come to this again, a regular IBM disk drive. It's not an Amiga drive. Put it in. And we'll click OK. And you can see here it is reading uh, the tracks. And uh, one thing Jim does say that the uh, floppy disks uh, have not held up well over time. So um, there are a lot of times you get read errors or disks are just bad, which I can definitely tell you. Um, I definitely have some that are apparently bad. Um, and you have to make sure the drive heads are extremely clean. So we can see here that the uh, drive is reading each track as best it can chugging along and when we have the green indicators it means it was a good read there were no issues at all the yellow means that some retries were done and hopefully was able to recover that track if you see any reds well reds never good red means that it couldn't read the track at all now uh, again this is creating an FD uh, an Amiga uh, ADF file directly it's not a complete a flux level image of the drive. What I'm going to do though, fellas, so you're not watching this thing creep along, I'm going to pause the video and come back when we're a little bit more towards the end. You can see it's, oh, it's going again pretty good here. Let's let it go then. As we can see, little, uh, device here is just chugging along just fine and I have over here my uh, Win UAE version of an Amiga but again um, you can make direct uh, floppy uh, copies here so you could theoretically just make uh, or take an ADF file as a matter of fact when you go to that you can take an ADF file or flux level image you have already and through this device make an Amiga diskette which is something that you know for people who have real hardware like myself at home um, you want to be able to do that so not only can you back up these disks as an ADF or a flux level uh, image you can reverse that you can make it uh, go back to real Amiga disk and this works with other machines as well uh, when it's done I'll show you real quick uh, what's preset um, It'll pretty much work with anything, Jim says, uh, if you know the tracks and the heads and all the information of the, of the drive. But he already has a whole bunch already configured. Uh, so it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. And he has other utilities here that'll uh, be able to scan or go down to the, uh, the flux level and you can read the disk directly. Uh, but let's see, we're almost done here. Still going along nicely. So you had a couple of yellows, which means it did have uh, some problems reading it. Uh, it could be the diskette itself, which it probably is, being as old as it is. But we're almost done. And nothing like having a little Pluto in the background there. Okay, the image is uh, complete. So all we can do now, if you look down here, we have my new file I just created. So we'll come over here to our good old Amiga. And we will load that into here. As you can see, pulling it right in. And we'll do a reset here. And 
And my friends, there you go. Tell me that does not get you excited. It sure did me. So while that's loading over here, let's just take a quick pick over here. And uh, you can see I'm set for Amiga right now, but you have other options built in as well. Let's see, still loading up over here, looks good. But we have a Commodore 64 128, Amiga, Apple II, Atari ST, Atari 4 and 800, Macintosh, IBM formats, TRS-80, uh, my other computer, my TI, I can make sure that's backed up, and CPM. So you have all these formats you can do uh, with this device. And uh, this is almost done loading here. Let's wait till it pulls up that nice, there we go. So again, uh, this is Jim Drew, uh, he used to have Utilities Unlimited. He made the implant board back in the day. Um, he's still around. Uh, his uh, website is uh, cbmstuff.com. And uh, I really can recommend this device. It works very well. And uh, here we go to some good tunes. Here we go, fellas. So you see, using his device and regular IBM drive, we can start saving our stuff. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little video, and uh, definitely head over to Jim Drew and uh, buy his product. It's well worth it, and it's very reasonable. Thanks, guys.